All right, you guys, we're going to be talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. And we're going to be talking about this bread tuper. She calls herself the Roma Army. I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out, I think. Uh, there's got to be a little bit of setup here before I begin with the Roma Army and the nonsense that is coming out of her mouth. You guys are going to want to stick around for this. So let's set this up real fast. So as I'm making this video a couple weeks ago or a week ago, uh, Johnny Depp and the Amber Heard uh, trial, the, the defamation lawsuit claim, whatever, it has been resolved. The jury of Johnny Depp's peers have concluded that uh, Amber Heard owes him $15 million. They were not convinced by her tired horse shit. And um, yeah, he won. And there has been a glorious meltdown on the internet. And it, it has also inspired people like Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse is, is kind of equating himself. He's kind of comparing himself, sort of, uh, to Johnny Depp. It's like, hey, I know what it's like to be canceled. I know what it's like to have powerful institutions come out and defame me. And, uh, you know, your journey, your battle, your victory here has inspired me to move forward with my, my, my legal threats. And he's going to pursue defamation cases against members of the fake news industry, members of the Democratic establishment, uh, individuals who are a part of the sports, uh, film, and music industry, people like LeBron James, Whoopi Goldberg, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm here for it. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description for Kyle Rittenhouse's little advocacy website where he's raising the funds. I implore you. I hope that you uh, that, that you're able to donate to him and help him because his victory will help all of us. Uh, and I genuinely do believe that. And a lot of people had to stick up their ass about this because they're like, how dare you compare yourself to Johnny Depp? How dare you say that, you know, how, or, or how dare you compare yourself to Johnny Depp or how dare you, uh, you know, uh, put Johnny Depp's uh, beautiful name in your hideous, dirty mouth and all this other nonsense. People are just really upset by this because they, they don't like Kyle Rittenhouse because he successfully defended himself. He was found not guilty on all the charges that were levied against him. And all the evidence clearly demonstrates that these violent Black Lives Matter activists were harming people. They almost killed a bunch of people by blowing up that gas station. They were the ones making credible threats of violence. And, and I mean, even on the stand, Gage Grotzkreutz or whatever his stupid name is, that freak, he basically gives it up. He's like, yeah, you know, I pointed the gun at his head and that's when he decided to raise the gun at me, whatever. It's pretty epic. So yeah, so Rolling Stone comes out and they publish this article, no Kyle Rittenhouse, a depth hurt verdict shouldn't be fueling you. Why not? Why not? I mean, even, you know, like if, if you're going through some some stuff, man, you're going through a hard time in life and and you see Johnny Depp, the underdog, he's got the ACLU against him, he's got WAPO against him, and all these these giant organizations, he's got his own industry against him, and then he wins. That inspires people. I mean, I don't know why they got to stick up their ass about this. I mean, I know why, but, you know, it's just like they go on. They, they quote some lawyer who reached out to the Rolling Stones, and he's basically stating that, oh, well, there's no, there's no merit to these defamation claims. There's no merit to, to these threat, these legal threats because, uh, you know, none of these institutions, none of these, I can't find a single instance of defamation that exists out in the, you know, the Internet or whatever. Oh, really, uh, I, I recall uh, the Young Turks, those those freaks that den that denied the Armenian genocide as adults. I, those, those goofballs, they stated clearly that Kyle Rittenhouse was only out there to shoot black Americans, shoot innocent protesters. And just like they called him a white supreme pizza. They called him a Nazi. They called him all this stuff. And he's also like part Hispanic. So I don't know where all the, the claims of racism come from. He, he's a sweet kid. He's a good kid. So that's part of the setup. There's one more thing I want to get to, though. All right. So Johnny Depp is, uh, I don't know if he's a Satanist, but before Kim Kardashian was doing her fraud, grifter nonsense with the Innocence Project, those guys are total hacks and cringe, and they're also racist, by the way. Uh, Johnny Depp was out there stomping for these three men who were convicted of killing these little boys. They were like eight, nine years old. They were called the West Memphis Three. I'm not going to get into it, uh, the, the details of this case, but these guys were, were found innocent many, many, many years later. And uh, the, these guys are Satanists. These guys are Satanists. And then, of course, you know, they, they got, like, matching tattoos and stuff. Johnny Depp also got, like, a tattoo, you know, with them or something. And he was just there with them uh, the whole time uh, defending these people. And Johnny Depp is uh, allegedly going to be making a movie about this. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, so this is who Johnny Depp is. Again, I don't like Johnny Depp because he 
this is who he hangs out with. He hangs out with these Satanists. And um, and he's also repeatedly called for violence against people like me and, of course, President Trump, who I obviously love and support. So I'm not a fan of this guy. So that brings me to Roma. Roma is a bread tuber. She's got a satanic cross, a tattoo right on her neck. It's upside down cross. We're going to go ahead and go over to the mini display. All right, can you guys hear me? Yeah. And we're going to watch this video of her defaming, saying demonstrably false stuff about Kyle Rittenhouse. So this is the first video. And then we're going to get to the other one, the juicy one. All right, here we go. Okay. So when I did my apology video earlier this week for wearing my braids, I got completely roasted. Like, completely roasted. And one of the biggest comments people were saying was, oh, no, here comes, like, a string of apologies and blah, 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 and you better not turn into one of those people. And I'm really... Yeah, notice the, the, the upside down cross, the satanic cross. This person is a, uh, they, they brand themselves like anti feminism. And she states that she's trying to de radicalize men or de radicalize the, the men's rights movement. I don't know about you, but I don't particularly see the men's rights movement as radical. You know, you got men who want to be treated fairly in the family courts. I mean, are they going out committing gross violence against women? Are they going out making uh, terroristic threats or anything like that? No, of course not. They're just beating up on a group of men who have been essentially shut out of society. They, they've, they've been prevented from moving forward in life. They're, they're just like just drowning in legal fees and, and all this nonsense because of the way the family courts are structured here in the U.S., and, uh, you know, she claims to be an ally to those people. But, you know, let's see, again, the, the Satan cross. You got these hideous tattoos all over her. The, this, this woman is a loser. This girl is a fucking loser. Let's just go on. I'm really not trying to do that here. I just really feel like maybe I said some out of line stuff earlier today in my posts and in my community posts and my videos and whatnot. And so um, in regards to the Kyle Rittenhouse situation, I just want you guys to know that I have gone back, I have done more research, and I would like to genuinely say sorry to absolutely fucking nobody. That is the, the demon. She's got demons in her soul, and they're coming out right now. To nobody. I'm not apologizing to you. Stupid. That guy went into a crowd and decided to kill a bunch of people. America's the only place. No, he did not. No, he fucking did not. Look at this fucking woman. Dude, imagine dating this chick and, like, getting into, like, an argument about, like, anything. Like, who's going to take out the trash next? And then just getting fucking yelled at by her. By the way, she's a single mom and she lives with her, ne with her ex. Yeah, you didn't set the world on fire, did you, sweetheart? You sound like you make a lot of really poor decisions. We're going to get into that a little bit later. Let's move on. Place where that would be constituted as fucking self-defense. Are you stupid? I live in Canada. We don't go walking around with fucking rifles, not to mention one of the people he killed was an older gentleman who was like, oh shit, maybe he's going too far, and he just went to defend somebody. Boom, Kyle shot him. No, that's literally not what happened. Gage Grosskreutz, uh, he, he, he had a conversation with Kyle Rittenhouse before Kyle Rittenhouse successfully defended himself against his violent ghetto BLM activist Gage Grosskreutz, who, ac who absolutely got what he fucking deserved, along with... Uh, Rosenbaum and the skater boy who was swinging a heavy skateboard at his head and actually made contact and he grabbed for the gun. All these people besides Gage reached for the gun and they chased them like wild animals and like wild animals they got put down. So I don't know how y'all are for men's rights but uh are you know pandering after Kyle but do do your thing you know I'm sure he'll pay your bills give you some recognition um yeah yeah see unlike you I'm not a dishonest uh dishonest piece of shit I make these videos because I think they're important I don't expect or demand or think I'm gonna get anything from Kyle Rittenhouse or anybody for that matter I'm just out here speaking the truth unlike you woman who has an OnlyFans and, uh, you know, you, you make this like pro men's rights, anti-feminist content and you're 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 a grifter. You know, this is this is a, a classic case of a confession through projection. You want to talk shit? Let's get into a fucking debate and I'll fucking destroy you much like I'll destroy Navy man. The Antifa Santa Claus. What's his name? I can't remember the, the old fucking the old. Uh, 
the Yankee Marshall, any of the dude, amazing atheists, I'll fucking destroy them. And I'll destroy you, too. We're going to get into that in, the, in a second because there's more to this woman. There's, I'm going to get to the original post that kind of fueled all this. I think McGregor still said it best, though. I must say. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to watch another video from her. All right, so this is what this is the short that that fueled this. She's got eight hundred, over almost nine hundred thousand subscribers, guys. Almost nine hundred thousand subscribers, fellas. Why are you thirsting over this chick? Why why are people following her, dude? She says nothing of substance. She she has no new ideas. She's not unique. Like she's not smart. Like she's an idiot. Like why is she this popular? I don't understand. But look at the ratio. Thank God, there's sanity. Sanity is prevailing. All right, let's watch known that the men's rights community has some crossover with the radical right and i've always done my very best to make sure that my perspectives and my stances have always steered far away from those crazy fucks right how so like i don't even know what she's talking about here but whatever but i must be naive somewhere because <laughs> boy i could not have anticipated this i shared this article on my youtube where kyle rittenhouse says that he was inspired by johnny depp's verdict to sue for defamination defamination you know, for somebody who pretends to be, like, smarter than other people, uh, uh, you know, you should probably, you know, uh, understand how to say the words that are coming out of your mouth. Uh, fucking idiot. Ugh. So I said, now you shut the fuck up and keep your dirty name away from Johnny Depp. Boy, did that make some people... Dude, you know whose name is dirtier than Kyle Rittenhouse? Johnny Depp who defended the Memphis Three, the man who repeatedly called for violence against my people and my fucking president. Fuck this dumb bitch, this basic bitch. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm not gonna bleep that out. She's a fucking bitch. You know, she's talking shit. She's saying things that are demonstrably untrue. And she's also defending a, 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 a fucking man who, who ended up saving the lives of these three Satanists. But whatever, let's keep, let's keep watching angry yeah these people all had um one thing in common let me see uh well two things number one they are whiter than the canadian snow and number two they look like the type to take their sister out behind the field you know what i'm saying is that not fucking racist is that not a, a racist caricature of of white americans of european americans if i were to say something disparaging about any group of people it's like, oh, this group of people, they always going out. They look like they like to commit violence. They look like they like like they like to step out of their the lives of their children. They look like they eat this specific type of food. They look like they talk really loud in movie theaters. I would get banned. I'd have my life destroyed. But you can but she can come out, you know, she she probably talks she probably cries about white privilege. What about your privilege, lady? Let's listen to that one more time. They look like the type to take their son. They are whiter than the Canadian. Uh, well, two things. Number one, they are whiter than the Canadian snow. And number yeah, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Two, they look like the type to take their sister out behind the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Like, I've known that I've always had to make a stance against, like, incels, you know, radical men's rights advocates. But I never, ever thought that I would have to clear out my community by saying that if you are a Kyle Rittenhouse sympathist, sympathetic, whatever. Sympathist. <laughs> oh my. You're, you're not, you, you didn't end up getting your uh, nine, almost 900,000 subscribers by being intelligent. That probably upsets her. Her fans are there for only one thing. Ever, right? If you're here to kiss his ass leave please leave because i just blocked so many people from that community post and i will keep on blocking i will happily do it so could you just remove yourself please i hope to see a bunch of unfollowed people you know i hope to lose subscribers today is what i'm saying okay because you guys are the exact type of people that i would like to just toss off my balcony into the trash bin the 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 single mother was put in the trash bin by all the men that have been inside of her including the father of her child again another classic example of confession uh, projection or confession through projection 
Goodness, lady. Goodness. You know, <laughs> leave. Yeah, it's a. It's exactly what the father of uh, your child did. He left. I was never. Uh, I was never subscribed to this person. I came across uh, her channel uh, from Undead Chronic, Professor Chronic, Father Chronicus, who uh, always always uh, feeds his fellow Greenskins. He shows up every day. With the with the BBQ apron, he rolls out the barbecue grill and he feeds his 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 young green skin brutas. And uh, I I just felt I had to make a video, an independent video myself, because uh, I I can't stand these people. And again, like, well, let's go back to the mini display really quick. All right, we're gonna go to her channel. Let's well, just I'm let's see let's see uh let's see what she's about. Tattooed gendered, uh, gender advocate that seeks to challenge feminism and de-radicalize men's rights. Egalitarian with a demon face. Oh, okay. Wow. Interesting. Wow, she's so she's so unique. She's so smart. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, uh, she's got nine hundred thousand followers. People are impressed by this. People are taken in by somebody like that who has nothing to offer the world but bullshit, moronic platitudes, and blatant lies. Disgusting. Absolutely offensive to my, uh, my, my, <laughs> my intellect. Really, it, it really is. So, yeah, what do you guys think of this nonsense, about this Roma? I, I've never heard of this Roma channel. Um, maybe I'm out of line for calling her the, the B word, but... Uh, anybody who lies about an innocent kid like Kyle Rittenhouse is uh, somebody that is deserving of more than harsh words, if you know what I mean. Uh, she deserves to be absolutely roasted. I, I think she should be banned from the platform for her racism. Again, I, if we want to be fair, if we want to enforce the rules fairly across the platform, Jared Taylor is not allowed on the platform. Vincent James is not allowed on the platform. Nicholas J. Fuentes is not allowed on the platform. But she can spew racist bullshit about white Americans or white people in general. Uh, you know, make, make these uh, d these disgusting. Uh, you know, prop up these disgusting stereotypes about incest. She's allowed to do that, but but Jared Taylor can't cite FBI crime statistics. Sargon of Akkad got banned. I mean, the guy's totally lukewarm you know right wing dude you know just really safe I like Car uh, Carl I really do but uh, you know he, he gets in trouble but she's allowed to do it she's allowed to do whatever she wants by the way she has an OnlyFans shocker right uh, yeah no she th this is this woman if I were to just if I'm gonna be let me just put it this way Th this is a dumb woman this is a dumb girl nothing about her is interesting she, she's able to regurgitate opinions that are not her own. She uses words, most of which she can't even say properly. She doesn't, know, she doesn't even know how to use them. Uh, she's a fucking loser. This woman is a loser. Nothing interesting about her, I except maybe the tattoos. That might be a little interesting, kind of, sort of. You know, she's got that satanic backward cross, you know, bullshit going on. You know, whatever, man. I see right through it. Uh... I don't think it works. I think a lot of people have kind of woken up to the, 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 the types of individuals without a personality, and they try to hide that by, you know, covering themselves up with tattoos and over-accessorizing themselves with, with fake jewelry, much like Johnny Depp does as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, fuck all these people, except for Kyle Rittenhouse. He's awesome. That's my boy. Um, thank you, Father Chronicus, for bringing attention to this. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Peace out.